hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I am literally just sitting outside just to calm myself down a little bit something just happened and it really sort of scared me and um, it just literally sort of pissed me off also and sometimes it you know I I was I'm just left wondering why do people try to do shit like that it's really upsetting to the person it's happening to and um, it's it's very distressing so i'm just sitting outside um, just to take a, a few minutes to calm myself down because i'm angry as well as shaken up by the whole thing let me tell you what happened so i decided was to try out etsy i was on YouTube watching videos and doing my sewing and quilting as I do normally. And you know, a few ads has been coming up regularly about how Etsy is good, etc. and to sell your products. Now you all know that I sell my quilts and patterns, etc. on my website. And um, I just feel sometimes, you know, I just wanted to to try another outlet to sell more of my items. Anyway, I decided was to go ahead and <laughs> I decided was to go ahead and open an Etsy account. All right. Now I made a decision based on what other Etsy personnel or Etsy people, whatever, you know, Etsy shop owners, let's identify them properly, were, were saying, and the positives. Yes, there were a few negatives about some Etsy shops closing down, etc. And people are having to close their shop down because they're selling copywritten items. Well, I, I know I haven't got that problem because everything I make is what I have made. It's from my own hand. So it's literally handmade products or generated thought ideas about selling or making a pattern, so selling the patterns. Forgive me if my words are a little bit crossed because I'm a little bit pissed still. Anyway, so I decided was to go ahead and open the account based on what others said. And um, I decided was to look beyond the negatives and to go with the positives because that's the type of person I am. As I'm filling out the, the form, um, etc., you know, everything's going well. I'm a little bit stressed, a little bit tired at the same time, but I've decided was to persevere. Anyway, came to the to the option whereby I needed to upload items, etc., and to start opening the shop. So I opened up a, I uploaded a few items first, just to test it out, to test out to see how the form went, how to create the content, etc., and try it out to see if it was something I really wanted to go ahead and do. So I think I uploaded it too, and obviously with Cret and Etsy, you do not your shop is not open until you actually submit your credit card details, or I should say I should I should say your bank account details. Anyway, so I uploaded two items or three, and I decided you know what? Okay, I'm going to go ahead. It seems all right um, because I've I, I researched how to you know write up the ads because apparently if your ads are well written. It's very likely that your shops will your shop will be or your items will be spotted okay decided to do all that spent a long time on it and obviously you know when you spend time opening up shops online it does take some time and you do get a little bit wary tired frustrated etc because at the end of the day we're dealing with the internet and you know technology anyway decided now go ahead open the shop submitted my account details and continue you know you know then it asks me to make sure my password is secure and you know those three-step format you need to go through to make sure the account is secure so I'm doing that so as I was submitting my details to open the account or to or to link my account details to Etsy um, it sort of bounced back and said you know the the it, it is incorrect and I'm thinking well what is incorrect there I sat there wondering for a minute. I was like, oh, you know what? It's probably my address because we moved, as you guys know, and um, I didn't update my address for my bank. So I, I phoned my husband and I said, you know, did we update the address? He said, I don't think we have. I said, okay, fine. That's probably most likely the reason why it's bounced back. So now I put in the old address 
um, because obviously the card would link with the new address here. So um, I submitted the old address and it went through no problem, right? Then Etsy emailed me, your shop is open, congratulations, blah, 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 that's fine. So within about, literally, about three minutes, a message popped up from Etsy. Now I'm looking at it and it's saying to me, oh, um, someone has, have, someone has, um, <laughs> someone has bought an item and you need to submit your card details in order for you to get the funds. And I'm thinking, really? So quick. That's what I'm saying. I said, literally, that's not even 10 minutes. So I sat there and I'm staring at the computer and I'm staring at the message. <clears throat> And I'm saying to myself, really? Was the ad I did that brilliant? <laughs> you know? But at the same time, my brain just couldn't comprehend that. It literally, in a few minutes like that, it, it, someone would see my ad and see my shop and buy something. Anyway, um, so I tried then. I said, well, I said but why, why is it that they want my card details? Why do I want me to submit my bank details again in order to make sure if somebody buys something, it should just, I should just get an email saying, you know, something's been purchased. The same way it's done when I use Shopify, right? Never had an issue with Shopify, perfect, absolutely perfect. Anyway, so I sat there and I'm still pondering on this and my brain is doing, you know, is trickling over, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense, anyway. I was like, and then at the same time, messages, the message keeps popping up, popping up, and I'm thinking, Okay, let me try and contact Etsy. So go now to the messages, contact Etsy. I couldn't get through this. Nobody answering. I'm thinking, this doesn't make sense. Why are they contacting me again? Anyway, the message keeps coming back up and coming back up. So then I decided to respond to the message directly. So I said, hello. And um, the person said, yes, your, your card, you need to submit your card details in the form. Um, I'm going to send you a form for you to fill out download the form, submit it back to me, and then um, I and then um, it will bounce back and give you a code to, to give to me. So I said, okay. So the form came through, or the instructions came through, and I went ahead with it. And at the same time, I'm still not feeling like this is right. Sometimes I'm thinking, well, how the hell could actually get this wrong, right? I'm thinking, I am the problem. So with that now, I um, and I, I, <laughs> I value myself as a smart, intelligent person, you know, who can comprehend these things without any issues, right? You know, so it's not the first time I've set up a shop, so it's not the first time sort of problems like this come up. So and I'm, you know, handled it quite relatively easy. So went ahead now and submit the details. Then my bank now sent me a code and on the code and at the same time at the same time now i'm telling you no lie my head started pounding literally instant i started to feel really cold my tummy was in knots and my mouth got really dry and then something said to me as i'm reading the code on the text that my bank texts me it said to me do not give this code to no one and i'm thinking i have never done this before and then i swear to you no lie <laughs> i swear to you no lie i swear the holy spirit spoke to me and said karen if you're feeling like this if you have all these feelings in your body this is not natural something is wrong here all of your intuition is telling you that this does not feel right do not submit that code and then another text came in from the scammers which i then realized it said you need you will be charged 500 dollars." and i'm thinking none of my items cost 500 dollars," and it was like ping light bulb moment these are fucking scammers trying to take my money my hard-earned money so with that i can feel my heart beating really really fast because as i said my my intuition 
God is speaking to me and saying, this is not right. Don't you dare submit that number. <laughs> Don't you dare submit that code because you are going to be pissed with yourself after. So at that mo in that moment, I realized right there and then that these fucking scammers are trying to scam me and whether, and it just put me off. It put me off of the whole thing altogether about even opening up an Etsy shop. And I'm thinking, how is it that this is allowed to happen on Etsy platform? Because the messages was coming in from Etsy platform itself. So then now, I didn't bother her to go ahead, obviously, and submitted that code, because had I did, this would have been a, di a different video. But in that moment, I was feeling like an idiot because I, I almost got caught. And I sat there to myself and I said, how would I tell this to my husband? <laughs> <laughs> you know how can i how can i relate the story to him so guys the moral of this story is is that if it doesn't feel right if your intuition is telling you if your soul is telling you if god is speaking to you listen and respond appropriately because had i not listened to the way how my body was reacting because that is not normal for me I started cramping up everything everything started aching in that instant and as soon as I decided no as soon as I woke up so to speak I, I realized this is not right instantly everything began began to subside because I realized that someone was trying to scam me so what I decided was to do then was to literally go through the messages and just kept deleting them and deleting them and reporting it as scam, etc, etc. And then as I looked at the Etsy platform where you're supposed to communi communi communicate with Etsy, there is a column that says Etsy messages, right? So when I clicked on that, there was no messages at all. Somebody's calling me. I'll get back to you in a second. Hello? I'm, a, I'm number 11, literally outside the door. I'll be there in a second. I'll come open the door. I'm the very first house, yeah, with a curved driveway. All right, guys. So I'm back now. All right. That was just a delivery I had to go and collect. Okay, I think I remembered I stopped at the point whereby I said that I went to the Etsy platform itself and saw that there is a column that says Etsy messages. So when I looked into that column or opened up that link um, or that box, it actually said no messages. I was like, okay. And then as I filtered through um, the Etsy site and, you know, communication from Etsy, it says clearly if etsy has shut your shop because that's another thing that they were actually saying in the messages that if i do not respond my shop would be closed and then the next message that came in was um your shop is now closed because you haven't submitted the code right so i went on the the platform within etsy and um, was just reading through and it clearly said that if your shop is shut down by us there will be a banner across the shop and you would know and we will communicate that with you clearly so when i didn't see all of that i knew then again another confirmation that this was a scam so in that moment i was really really sad in the sense that how can people really try to do this you spend so much time and energy trying to steal people's money or trying to convince them to submit things and when i say to you guys i really thought it was etsy communicating with me because when i looked at the messages because that's what i said to you in the sense that i i value myself to be you know an intelligent person because i looked clearly at the logo and it's the etsy logo but in reality when i think about it now anybody can make an etsy logo because it's just an orange background with an e in it isn't it you know, um, so it's just all those things that made me feel like, why do you, why even bother open an Etsy account, you know, and I'm still, the, the store is open, but I haven't really uploaded anything else. I've just kind of put a halt in it for, for now, 
and um yeah it's just it's just kind of left a bad taste with me you know has anybody else experienced those people trying to get into your account or to scam you if you've experienced that please let me know did you go ahead and actually open the store and continue with it so for the long story short i when my husband came home the evening i told him and the first thing he said to me is the account okay and i went everything's fine you know but um i was there i was literally that close had god not spoken to me as i said this would have been a different video so as i said the moral of the story is to listen to listen to your to yourself because sometimes you know it's that little voice that is trickling your mind that's tickling tick, 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 tick. <laughs> it's simply saying you know take heed you know be cautious you know double check and double check again and question yourself and that's what i was doing there in that moment i kept questioning myself and i know for me when something is wrong i don't feel right you know i just feel uncomfortable and i was so tense so guys thank you for listening I think with talking to you and literally getting the interruption and going to open the door for the delivery driver, I feel better. I don't feel stupid <laughs> because you know what? I think, I think these things can make you feel like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I'm so gullible. But I think what we have to realize is that these people, they, they think of every avenue literally every minute avenue to try and trick you and realistically that's not normal you know so don't feel bad and i'm and i'm saying this to you and i'm actually saying it back to myself don't feel bad you know because they went through the length to try and trick me but god won so if you enjoyed this you know chat it was just an opportunity i've never done this before i've never really opened up but i just wanted to share this in case someone is in my shoes and you're looking to open an etsy account and this is just like a trigger to just be on your guard just be sure because if that is happening at the start of opening your shop i would imagine that you will probably get other scam messages through to you saying people have bought stuff so i think that could just be one avenue of scammers trying to get in into your xc account and to be honest another reason why i felt i wanted to withdraw from the whole thing and i don't understand how this can be happening on the etsy platform i think they should have you know trigger walls up where they are blocked and i know scammers are smart because they too are internet savvy and computerized and tech savvy but i also think that etsy as that, that billion dollar company that they are should be 10 steps ahead to protect their um, their shop owners you know so um if you've experienced that or before you open your shop please just be careful don't get fooled because it would have been very distressing for me it definitely it would have been five hundred dollars is a lot of money and i don't throw my money away i spend it wisely i always consider is it a need or a want so that's why it it felt so uncomfortable i don't just spend like that so guys thank you for um, listening to me and thank you for hearing me out and you know listen to me rant because that's basically what it was so bye for now and i'll see you soon be safe out there